हेलो एवरीवन ओके ग्रेट सॉरी सो अर्लियर कपल ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स मेंशन दैट आई वाज ऑडिबल ग्रेट सो फाइन सो आई अगेन जस्ट अ मिनट yeah i'll again uh, address what banu pratap has uh, asked banu pratap said that uh, asked the question that what if you know my jipmet uh, i have paid the jipmet form uh, money for the jipmet form twice but it is showing that uh, the field uh, the money has not been paid and uh, there is no acknowledgement so what i what i said was that uh, first thing you should reach out to the customer care okay uh, there is a customer care number given in the jipmet application secondly second thing what you should do is uh, you should basically uh, email to the jipmet authority saying that uh, you know this has been your application number and you know you have still not uh, the payment has not been acknowledged yet so i am sure either of the solution should work out the last solution the last approach should be uh, worst case maybe 3 or 4 days before the application ends uh, maybe you should fill the form again with the different credential different mobile number and different email id okay so that's that's the best thing you know that that is how you can approach to this okay sure uh, there was one more question uh, which uh, pentagon has asked so let me address that question okay once again i don't know whether it was audible at that time or not but okay so how can i prepare for ip met indore I, i have started preparation two days back so uh, whether you start your preparation two days back or you start six month back or you start a year back uh, the approach for ip met indore okay would remain the same but right now you need to be smart enough you need to ensure that uh, you are not solving 20 or 30 question of the same type you do not have that much time so the objective should be clear all your basics maybe uh today we are on second of april second of april so maybe by uh 20 or 20 25th of april focused on clearing your entire uh, basics okay once your basics is clear then you can focus on uh you know questions from the higher mathematics such as uh trigonometry matrix determinant or let it be in that case uh, functions and inequalities and multi concept basically multi concept question then you know you should focus on that and once your basic is clear start writing the ipm at indore test so that you will understand where exactly do you stand and trust me guys over the last so many years i have always come across uh, at least 10 to 10 8 to 10 to 12 odd questions which can be solved with the help of basic concept okay you do not require some you know uh, einstein uh, einstein law or newton's law to solve uh, ipm at indore questions there will be questions which you will solve which you will be able to solve with the basic concept there are people who will there are friends and people who will keep you telling that ip met indore math is very difficult very difficult very difficult okay but it is difficult for everyone so do not make a mistake of jumping directly to the advanced level difficulty question until and unless uh, you know you are from a science background maybe your math is very strong then maybe you can start solving the question which are based on application otherwise it is not recommended okay and in doing mathematics in doing quantitative aptitude ensure that you are not you know uh, you are not avoiding uh, verbal ability because that is an equal weightage there are 45 questions of qa and 45 questions of verbal ability however the verbal ability cut off goes extremely high 70% okay of the marks was the cut off last year so out of 180 125 that's almost not exactly 70 but you can say very close to 70% was the cut off last year okay so the cut off is extremely going to be very high so make sure that you have you know you focused equally on quant as well as on uh, verbal ability now coming back to quant uh, you will always find questions from arithmetic you will always find questions uh, from uh, topics such as numbers and arithmetic which are not very difficult which are a doable one okay so start focusing on them once you are done with this then the the favorite topics that the ipm and indore uh, test Uh, paper setter test generally students is their favorite topic is logarithm uh, arithmetic progression and geometric progression uh, functions inequalities and uh, functions inequality yeah and coordinate geometry so these are five to six topics which are always and always been tested either in short answer or in uh, mcq so once you are done with numbers and arithmetic you can directly move to this so that you are also doing the uh, advanced level question 
will 2025 ipm at indore be too hard uh, wow i mean i hope i i would knew this answer and i hope that you know i would be setting that paper uh, it's very you know difficult to predict uh, right now you know i cannot even predict whether 2024 paper will be easy or difficult okay so 2019 was very difficult 20 and 20 Uh, 19 was difficult. Uh, 2020 and 21 was easy to moderate. Moderate, I would say, not easy, but a moderate. And 23 was again difficult. So, I mean, I I am not saying that you follow the trend. The next two year would be easy, but then you know there have been ups and downs uh, in the level of difficulty of IPM and the uh, section. Okay, 2019. If you look at the verbal, it was very difficult. Visa V. If you look at the last two year verbal, the cut off have been on the uh, you know uh, cut off have been almost. Close to seventy percent of the total marks uh, for that verbal section. Okay, so it depends on year to year, and I always suggest that you know you should attempt the paper to its merit. Okay, you should always attempt the paper to its merit, and you know you should not have any uh, predetermined cut off. Uh, whether the cut off would be this much or whether the cut off would be that much, and attempt the paper accordingly. Don't do that because if the paper is easy, the cut off will go high. If the paper is difficult, the cut off will go down. So attempt the paper to its merit. That's in short. Please share the topics to be read. Uh, weightage wise. So Kirti, basically, uh, if I have to tell you topics which are highly important and which are uh, likely to appear in IPM and Indore, then probably uh, I would say uh, numbers. Then in arithmetic, I would say time, speed, and distance. Uh, time and work. Simple interest, compound interest. uh this three are you know i see almost every year one question on time series and time and work and simple interest component right uh logarithm arithmetic progression geometric progression uh then uh, coordinate geometry uh, trigonometry especially the number of solutions uh, type question uh matrices and determinant uh inequalities thirds and indices these are the topics which are highly important and i would say that other topics which i mentioned just now uh maybe you will find a question from every topic or maybe at least 90% of the topic which i have mentioned right now you know you should expect at least one question from all the topic uh then we have please share the area of study weightage wise for npet and ipmet and all so uh okay so first of all for npet you need to focus on logical reasoning uh, in ipmet and all you do not have logical reasoning at all okay uh then if i look at verbal ability verbal ability more or less uh, you have everything in ipm and indore as well as in npet however in ipm and indore you need to have extra focused on para jumble uh, because it does not have any option so have more focus there if you are preparing for npet level quant question for uh, for you know npet level quant question then in that case i would Say that uh, out of forty five questions that you have in both the QA section, probably for IPM and Indore you will be able to attempt around eight to twelve questions on a uh, on any given day if you are prepared for an NPET level quant question. Apart from an NPET level quant question, uh, you should focus on the topics like logarithm, uh, coordinate geometry, trigonometry, uh, progression, permutation, combination, probability, and uh, matrices, determinant, inequalities. These are topics. Apart from NPET, you should be focusing more on. uh does npet gets tougher towards the end of uh, anand basically uh, there is no proven data as such okay uh, there is no proven data a we do not get the marks of the student who scored in the first attempt versus second attempt or in the third attempt uh, b uh, there is no uh, you know students have been telling some of the students come and tell that the first attempt was easier as compared to second attempt and at the same time we also get few handful of student who say that my second attempt was easier than the first one so there is no data to prove that trend or you know that uh, you know uh, to verify that data or a fact mahak is asked what to study for current affairs in my entrance test beat christ ajain etc uh so mahak if you are an iims student then we have uploaded the current affairs compendium okay so there is a gk zone in gk zone there is static gk then there is current affair in current affair you have a weekly current affair and then the third is exam wise gk compendium so right now the symbiosis and the christ gk compendium is uploaded in the student portal 
uh, as and when we move forward, maybe in couple of days for CUET it will be uploaded. And uh, once the Javiers and Jahind also declare that they are going to conduct their own test, we will also upload the Javiers and Jahind uh, GK compendium in the student portal as well. So I think, you know, that much should be more than sufficient. And obviously the question that comes in mock are more relevant with respect to the actual exam. I am appearing for Christ entrance for BSc in psychology. And I have reasoning in my syllables. So I just wanted to ask if it would include quant as well. Uh, no, it definitely will not include quant. Uh, so whatever you studied in mathematics in class grade 9th and 10th, okay, uh, number system, HCF, LC, divisibility, profit and loss, simple interest, compound interest, averages, mixtures, time speed distance, time and work, uh, permutation, combination, probability, logarithm, geometry, uh, coordinate geometry, mensuration, you know, algebra, linear quadratic equation, third and entices. These are the topics which are tested in the aptitude test. So whatever you are doing in BSc, you know, that math obviously will not be part of the aptitude test. BSc finance versus BBA at NMIMS. Rishi, uh, I would say, you know, it completely depends on you. Okay. Whether you want to uh, do finance or you want to do a BBA. So if you are very clear and certain that finance is something that is your calling, then it has to be B uh, BSc finance. Okay. But if you are not sure whether uh, it is finance or it is uh, marketing or it is operation or it is finance plus something else, if you're not sure about it, then BBA should be a wise decision because uh, you will get an option to explore at NMIMS, uh, various options, various subjects, various field in BBA. Okay. You can, after first year, after second year, you can select the electives that you want to uh, from the other field as well, or the other specialization as well. But when it comes to BSc finance, you will not have that option. So make sure that, you know, I mean, you have to, what the best thing that I would suggest is uh, go and discuss with your mentor that what is your inclination toward, where are you inclined toward, and then maybe, uh, you know, uh, let's take an informed decision with the help of mentor. That would be the great thing, you know, to have. Uh, I am appearing for, wait. I have answered this. How hard is GIPMAT? So, Savita, GIPMAT is, I would say it's very easy because, you know, firstly, there are only 100 questions and it and it has uh, two and a half hours as a time limit. So, you have 150 minutes and 100 questions to be attempted. If you look at Rothag, okay, it has 120 minutes, 120 questions. Okay, so comparatively, you have more time in a GIPMAT as compared to Rothag. Okay. And overall paper wise also, it is very uh, easy. I would say that uh, because out of 400 marks the last year, the first cutoff list was around 320, 325 somewhere. Okay. So even if I consider 320, 80% of the total marks was a cutoff. Generally in the aptitude test, if the paper is difficult, the cutoff goes to around 55 to 60 marks, you know, 60%, you know, it, it might slightly grow lesser also, maybe 45 or 50 percentage at time. But otherwise, you know, if the cutoff is 80 percent, which means the paper is comparatively very easy. I have come across students who were able to attempt all 100 questions in GIPMAT. A lot of students attempted more than 95. Okay, last year, lot and lot of students attempted more than 95. So, I think, uh, you know, GIPMAT is overall easy. And, you know, to answer one additional question, Rothak is also a very easy question, a uh, very easy exam. Sir, the ABC strategy is working in short answer question as they are, there are only 15 questions, but around 25 minutes go in categorizing the question in MCQ section as they are 30 questions. So whoever it is, I'm not sure with your name. So see purpose of ABC strategy, strategy is not to spend a minute on a question and then decide whether it is A, B or C. Okay. The moment you read the question in 15 to 20 seconds, you should be able to understand whether it is A, B or C. I'm sure, you know, with more practice that 25 minutes will come down to, you know, eight to 10 to 12 minutes. It, it should not take more than that much time. Also, you should not categorize all the question in one go and then come back and attempt. The ideal approach should be, you see, look at the first question. If it is type A, go and attempt at the, at that moment itself. Okay. If it is type B, you mark for review and move ahead. If it is type C, leave it. So if you find, if you come across a type A question, then you solve that question then and that itself. 
and type what are type a question basically type a question are the ones where you you have come across similar question earlier and you know the approach to that question those are type a question okay which can be solved in one one and a half two minute at max and what are type b question type b questions are you know such question but either it is time consuming or you are not sure with the approach those are type b questions okay so don't get confused between type a and type b type a question out of the d question i am sure you know there will be around 7 to 10 type a questions which you should be able to solve in the first 25 minute itself okay uh, then we have uh, apurva sir is paper pattern for different courses different in christ university entrance test yes apurva that's true uh, i would say that you know 80 to 85% of the paper pattern remains the same okay so if a student is applying for christ university bba or bsc finance then you have 15 questions of accounts in your christ paper but if you are applying for bsc economics you will have an economics question uh, in the christ paper okay and uh, some exam will have you know 20 questions of di some will have 25 questions of di plus and minus five question here and there otherwise the level of difficulty would be more or less not more or less is exact same as compared to what we have for christ bba entrance paper okay so abhya is asking me the strategy for npad and ipmat okay so uh, abhya it's npad is simple you know whether you are a uh, whether you like maths or you don't like maths you fall into this two category okay if you like maths you start so first section is always going to be maths second logical reasoning and third it is going to be verbal okay if you like maths okay then in that case make sure that you spend around 30 odd minutes on maths and try to attempt uh, maybe around 20 25 question 20 22 question then move to lr and verbal and make sure that you attempt all 40 verbal and lr question because there is no negative marking and if there is a time permit you know if you have a 2 5 minute left then maybe you come back to quant and attempt the quant question whichever you have left or whichever you have loved it okay you can anyway solve and change your answer if your math is weak in that case for npad your approach should be maybe you spend 15 20 minute try to solve some you know 8 10 questions which are easy you will always find those 7 8 8 10 question easy in npad so try solving those question in 20 odd minutes maybe 15 or 20 minute at max move to lr and verbal and make sure you attempt all 80 with you know bang on accuracy you know have that 80 by 90% accuracy in those 80 question okay even if you know even you have 80% accuracy out of 80 question you end up getting 64 marks and in quant i am sure with 8 to 9 10 genuine attempt okay uh let's say out of 8 genuine attempt you get 6 correct so 64 plus 60 and out of 30 bluff that you make you know you end up getting let's say uh 767 correct you end up getting 76 77 odd marks right and that is more than sufficient 76 71 marks 76 77 marks is sufficient to even get a call for bsc finance and bsc economics for bba your cut off need to be around 70 marks should be your score that somewhere in that range coming to ipmat indor ipmat indor is very short Short paper because there is sectional time limit, so you have forty minutes for every section. And so for quant, I would say the strategy is very shorted because you have a mix of easy and a moderate or a mix of easy and a difficult question. So obviously, in the first round, you'll identify what are the easy question, go and attempt those. And in verbal, the strategy is very simple that you know you have to attempt forty or more than forty questions because. Uh, let's say you attempt only thirty-five question, which means you have attempted only one forty marks. If you have attempted only one forty marks, out of one forty, getting one twenty-five in verbal, which means which means that you will have to get only three wrongs, right? Out of thirty-five, getting only three wrong in subjective paper is you know would would require that guts. And hence, attempting forty or more than forty with close to around five, six, six, seven wrongs, you know, would have that edge. Also, uh. Last to last year, the cutoff of verbal section was 112 mark. Last year it was 125. Before that it was uh 71, 72 something, and then it was 19. It was 71. Then it went to uh then it then it decreased because the number of questions were less. Okay, then 112 and then 125. So cutoff is increasing. You never know. This time cutoff may go to 125 or it may go to 130, 132 also. So always keep that buffer of scoring 135, 140 mark in a verbal ability section. So in case there is an increase in the cutoff, you are in the you are in the safe zone. 
uh, i have just completed my 12th exam so uday is saying that i have just completed my 12th exam i want to prepare for ipmat with the time remaining i need an effective study strategy could you please advise on the best approach to prepare for ipmat uh, so udav i started my session with the same question i'll repeat that again basically divide so the first thing what you should do is go and analyze 2019 20 2021 20, 22 and 23 papers go and analyze the last four five years paper see what kind of questions that is generally asked okay uh the analysis of last 5 years mock is available on our youtube channel so you can anyways go and you know do read the analysis you will come to know that there are around 8 to 10 question that appears from the topic like number systems uh the whole of arithmetic the whole of number system the whole of arithmetic and the remaining questions are from you know uh, algebra and in algebra also you will have questions which are based on linear and quadratic equation and then you will have question based on logarithm and functions and inequalities and graphs so try to bifurcate the entire syllabus focus on the easier part first okay try to complete that by 25th of april and then start focusing on the advanced math because to do the advanced math question you will require the knowledge concept of the uh, basic uh, the basic chapter the basic concept that you would learn in the uh, first 20 25 days okay and then move on to the advanced level so and then you know maybe you know if you have just completed from end of april start writing one mock every 3 4 days you know that was that is very much essential writing mocks second step analyzing third step watching the video solution of all the ipm and or mock trust me guys if you do this if you follow this three steps you know you cannot learn more than this there are 15 ims mocks available all 15 mocks are with video solutions so 90 questions into 15 okay that will be 1350 odd questions with video solution okay that would be that would be covering all the different types of question that have been tested in ipmed and or or that could be tested in the upcoming test right so let you know if you simply do this after you know starting may i think you can easily clear ipmed and or uh sectional cut off okay and probably you can also score overall high marks uh, not only clear the cut off but also overall score the high marks now coming to uh, verbal so for verbal the you know you have to focus on everything because as i said just now the attempts need to be you know in the range of for somewhere close to 40 now if your attempts need to be close to 40 you should be you have to have to attempt reading comprehension grammar para jumble vocabulary everything because you cannot be sure that from the idioms and vocabulary you will know everything okay or all your reading reading comprehension or a para completion all all para jumble question will go right there will be there is one or two question here and there which will go wrong from every topic and hence there is no scope of skipping anything you need to learn everything that's the whole idea about verbal section for ipmat and all uh what should be okay guys so i i see uh, same student asking the same question and again and again uh you know as and when the question comes to me in the chat window you know turn by turn i am reading the question and i am answering it so don't repost your question i i i'll ensure that i will type i i will read every question and i'll try to answer your queries okay so don't type and you know spam the chat window uh by copy pasting the same message again and again priya the next question what should be the strategy for a non math student now during these days which are left for ip math okay so priya as i have been saying that focused on numbers arithmetic uh focus on so complete this fast because you will always get 8 to 12 question from numbers and arithmetic okay then start focusing on the important advanced math topic okay so not all question the functions and equality third and indices logarithm permutation combination probability are difficult you from this topic also there are some question so i would not say some means 50 percent but there will be always be 20 30 30 30 percent of the question from this topics which are doable with the help of basic concept so you start focusing on this topic and make sure that you are you are clear with the basic concept of this chapter once you are clear with the basic concept of this chapter then you should start solving the advanced application level question from this chapter 
to you know increase your uh, number of question to be attempted in the actual exam okay so yes i have a next question which says which asks that can a non match student crack the exam absolutely non match student can definitely crack the exam we have the students over last so many years who have been cracking so last year uh, there were 12 student who were non match student they were a bio, bio they had taken biology in their 11th and 12th okay and uh, there are 12 student right now studying in ipm at indore and they were non match student apart from that there were a lot of commerce to there are a lot of commerce student who are non match students and they are still able to crack the ipm at indore and also convert the final interview round so nothing as such that a non match student cannot clear non match students can definitely clear if you uh, focuses or if you emphasizes your effort in the right direction that's more important can i crack christ university exam in four days as i have my christ entrance test on 7th of april uh, devashish absolutely you can cre clear christ university because even you know so if you uh, if you have taken maths you know uh, and if i mean if you are a maths student uh quant should not be a problem okay because christ university quant is very easy verbal anyways will not be a problem because verbal you have grammar fill in the blank rcs that you have been doing since your 9 10 11 12th grade okay uh logical reasoning i would suggest that you know go and practice some logical reasoning question because that is something which is scoring and you should know how to approach such question types gk and questions on econo uh, questions on accounts is something that either you know it you know it you don't know it you don't know it okay uh generally account question you will not find any difficulty you will not find problem in account because if you have learned 11 12 account so you will find basic definitions and application questions you know uh in the christ entrance test gk is something that you need to focus on uh, so read gk compendium uh, from the gk zone i think that should be enough to clear your christ entrance paper does ims prepare for christ entrance for bsc psychology because there aren't as many classes for arts entrance uh no bumi so we don't have the mock paper for bsc psychology as such uh so uh, you know as i said earlier also bumi your 80% of the paper would be same as that you do in either bsc economics or bba okay only the psychology part okay that you have studied in 11 12 that would change otherwise the basic aptitude whether it is a gk or it is english or it is logical reasoning or it is quantitative aptitude that remains the same there is no change at all only the psychology part the question based on psychology are different from bba and from bsc economics okay and i'm sure you have learned 11th and 12th psychology so that should not be a problem for you as such okay what should be the strategy for va section of ipmat indore uh, ashwat okay so the strategy for va section firstly uh, if the level of difficulty remains the same what it was your attempt should be closer to 40 somewhere in the range of 38 39 plus anything more than 40 plus would be a added advantage now out of 45 if i say that you have to attempt 38 39 or a 40 plus which means you have to attempt every type of a question okay i would suggest that you should first solve reading comprehension and you should not keep reading comprehension question for the end you need to ensure that you know probably you can keep the vocabulary or grammar question for the end because those questions can be solved very quickly right to solve those question first where you will take more time but at the same time you need to ensure that you know last 5 uh, to 7 even 8 minutes are reserved for those vocabulary question that appears in ipm at indore okay you cannot have just two or three minute left for vocabulary question maybe you attempt two or three para jumble or para completion less but spend more time i mean have that enough time for a vocabulary question at the end samyog in npet can i start with english section or compulsory no you cannot you can you don't have a choice samyog to start with the sex, uh, favorite section the order is fixed yeah but what you can so basically what uh, the turn around uh, you know the work around is that you can mark all for 40 question randomly for con section then you can mark all the 40 question randomly for lr section and then you will get an english section okay once you complete the english section once you have completed attempted all 120 question the entire paper opens up and then you can go from any one section to another whatever you wish to that you can do devans has a question i passed class 10 from mp board due to covid 
exam taken were four subject i think uh, this was a question that was asked to me today by one of uh, the mentor so I, i i don't know whether it was you or someone else who asked that question to mentor uh yeah so basically uh, devansh the only solution is uh, you need to call to rohak customer care and ask them you know uh i am also going to call them tomorrow and check with them that in this such case what should student basically do okay so either you can get in touch with me tomorrow or you can yourself call the i am rohak and check out uh, lakshya has asked ipm at indore ke baad life set uh बेटा लाइव तो अभी शुरू होगी आईपी में इंदौर में जाने के बाद राइट सेट तो कुछ नहीं होता है मतलब यू नो इट्स वेरी इजी टू से वेरी इट्स से कि चलो आईपी में इंदौर में मिल गया यू नो लाइव सेट है बट द मोमेंट यू एंटर इन आई एम इंदौर यू फील लाइक कि अरे यू नो वेर आई हैव कम इन फर्स्ट थ्री टू फोर मंथ विल बी लाइक हेल्प एंड देन यू स्टार्ट चिलिंग यू स्टार्ट एंजॉइंग लाइफ एंड देन यू नो येस उसके बाद थोड़ा सेट हो जाएगा बट देन ऐसा तो है कि एफर्ट्स तो मारने पड़ेंगे योर ग्रेड हैज टू बी गुड इफ यू वांट टू अर्न गुड प्लेसमेंट एट द एंड ऑफ इयर्स बेटा व्हाई डू बीबीए इंस्टेड ऑफ बीकॉम सो वेरी सिंपल पिचान बेसिकली बीबीए इज मोर प्रैक्टिकल एज कंपेयर टू यू नो इफ आई हैव टू कंपेयर विद बी एंड अलॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ लर्निंग एंड बीबीए हैपन्स फाय मीडियम ऑफ केस स्टडीज uh lot of faculties lot of uh, mentors that comes to teach in bba are the one who have worked in corporate and you know or they are part time faculty currently working in corporate so you get a uh, you know that network you can network with them and you know you can use their network to uh, you know get a, to get placed in some companies of their uh, you know wherever they have reference or they have you know uh, connects with so bba will always have that added advantage in terms of learning uh, the the methodology the way in which is taught is very different okay the subjects which are which are taught in bba are very different as compared to bcom bcom will have subjects like accounts it will have marketing uh, it will have economics it will have uh, first year will also have mathematics then you will have uh, hrm you know so these are the topics that you study generally in uh, bcom Uh, but in uh, bba you study finance you study marketing you study operation you study logistics supply chain so all the subjects which are managerial level which which are taught in mba b school that you learn in bba uh, so yes the learn, most both the programs are very different uh, you know uh, there's no comparison at all you know yeah but if the question is sir should i do a bcom from hindu or we come from st stephen or i do bba from the college which is not in, not in which is not top 10 in india i would probably say go with stephen or hindu bcom because again the choice there would be between the type of learning that you will have among the peer okay so peer to peer learning in those reputed colleges will be amazing being because the students that comes to the top 2 3 3 5 5 5, five top 5 colleges of india generally they are in du okay the student that comes to those type of colleges are of the cream de la cream level and hence uh, you will be you will have the great you will have great company for 3 years and not only 3 years probably you will cherish that company throughout your life so if you get something which is in top 3 top 5 in india bcom was a top 10 in india bba i mean out of top 10 uh, bba in india i would prefer the top 5 bcom in india over out of top 10 bba in india are there any books available for current affairs general knowledge and reasoning so bumi if you are an ims student you don't need to purchase any book the gk zone which is there on the ims portal is self sufficient you will have study gk current affair and the exam specific compendium also you will have so do not worry about purchasing any book if you are not an ims student bumi then in that case probably uh, the book by pearson publication should be sufficient to clear a lot of uh gk to answer a lot of gk questions okay uh the book by shovik thorp from pearson publication okay is bba with specialization in finance worth applying for uh so pishan again it will depend what is where where does your interest lie if you are certain that you want to make a career in finance then go ahead and apply in finance just i mean because that is what you want to do but if there is you know that 5% uncertainty 
दैट अरे यार फाइनेंस नहीं जमा तो क्या ठीक है वॉट इफ आई डू नॉट लाइक मैन एन वॉट इफ दिस इज नॉट समथिंग दैट आई वॉन्टेड टू डू बट आई चलो अभी कर लिया अगर इफ देर इज दैट क्वेश्चन मार्क इन योर माइंड देन प्रोबेबली डो नॉट फॉर इट अदरवाइज इफ यू आर वेरी क्लियर सॉर्टेड देन गो फॉर बीबीए फाइनेंस हाउ कैन आई प्रिपेयर फॉर इकोनॉमिक्स फॉर क्राइस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी एंट्रेंस टेस्ट सो अगेन यू नो फॉर क्राइस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी वेदर इट इज अकाउंट साइकोलॉजी और इकोनॉमिक्स अपूर्व uh you just need to focus on what you did in your 11th and 12th okay so and you know you will not have long answers those are mcq so mostly those are definition or uh you know some numbers numerical questions basically uh, some formula g the formula for gdp or formula for some ratios or something that is what they are they are testing in uh, economics section for uh, kraish university okay um one request to everyone that you know if you are enjoying this if you are liking this then uh, please give me uh, please give like on this youtube you know on this video and subscribe our channel uh, so that whenever we keep on conducting the ask me anything session you will get a notification you know and you can join and clear all your doubts taking up the next question kirti how good is vocab how good is vocab for ipm at indore what do you mean by how good uh, and how to prepare for the same okay so Vocabulary question for IPM at Indore are not very difficult. The idioms, you know, you need to learn idiom. If you know the meaning, you know. You don't know, you don't know. And the question based on phrasal verb. Okay, phrasal verb is slightly tricky. So focus on question based on phrasal verb. Okay, vocabulary question generally student don't find it challenging as such. Okay, don't find it. They don't find challenging. So, uh, you know, if you have IMS vocabulary book. i think that should be self sufficient you know every year all the vocabulary question that comes in ipm at indore is from the ms vocabulary book okay so that should be more than sufficient for you if you are not good at vocabulary okay uh, sir is the christ entrance different for bba and bcom yes uh satvik from ims chennai can i start in any order in christ so satvik for christ there is no section all the questions are jumbled up the first question can be english second math third gk fourth english then account then math then reasoning it could be any any order also to an extent if it's a di set of five question not all five question will be together if then rc of five question not all five rc will be together they can come in any random order so you don't have a choice to attempt the section of your choice uh then we have ashwat uh, other than nirma university which other private university are best alternatives for ipm course so ashwat i have you know uh i have i have done the youtube video some like, couple of months back i'll just give you the list of all the ipm programs basically okay so apart from nirma you have uh op jindal okay uh, then you have uh, kriya university you have tapmi uh, then you have uh, iift you have nfsiu okay these are the colleges which also provide the ipm program now coming to your question which which one of them is good uh, i would say uh, nirma uh, tapmi uh, kriya university yeah this three and iift obviously uh, okay iift is you know not exactly government but not exactly private okay so you can consider iift also so yeah these are the four three four colleges which are good for ipm i mean good private ipm uh, colleges or universities will ipm at postpone i mean i don't see any reason why it should get postponed okay if you have any insider news please do share with me I mean, you know, I don't think it should get postponed, and there is no reason as such. Okay, how hard will I be IP met Rothak? So Aryan IP met Rothak, you know, uh, year after year after year, the exam is becoming easy and easy and easy and easy. Okay, uh, so last year, you know, out of four eighty, the cutoff was somewhere around four ten, four hundred and twelve marks was the four zero eight or four hundred and twelve was the cutoff. okay uh, that's whooping high that's whooping high close to around 85% of the total mark was a cut off i have never seen 
that high cutoff in any aptitude test, okay? Whether it is an MBA entrance test or a BBA or a low entrance, you know, any, I have never seen cutoff going as high as 85% of the total marks. That clearly means that the, you know, the paper, level of paper is very, very, very easy. You know, there are questions based on find the LCM of this number, this number, and there are three numbers given, find the LCM. Okay, a train of length, this can cover a, a railway station of this length with this speed and how much time. You know, the very basic very basic question that has been taught in any class in the first 15-20 minutes, that those are the level of questions that are being asked in the IP Met Rotor. Okay, and I don't see again any reason why they should make it difficult. Because if they want to make it difficult, they would have remained what it was in 2021. 22 and 23 was disaster, I would say that. Uh, sorry, in 20 was difficult. 21, 22 and 23 was disaster. I mean, disaster in terms of the level of difficulty, you know. There is no no challenging, you know. Uh, no, There is no challenging question that comes in IPM at Rothal. JIPMED has at least few here and there questions which are challenging. IPM at Rothal, you will not find a single challenging question. If they change the level of difficulty this year, God bless you. Okay. Uh, then where was I? What will be the cutoff approximately for BSc economics in NMIMS? If you score 75 plus, I think you should be in the safe zone. For BSc economics and BSc finance, anything 75 plus should be a safe zone. Should I fill IFT? I have no interest in business analytics and international business. I am more interested in finance. Uh, so maybe I have, uh, maybe Devanj IFT can be a backup option. I always say that, you know, you should always have that one backup option. What touch wood, okay. Touch wood. What if you do not get, uh, the college of your choice and you get IFT, will you take it? If the answer is yes, then apply. And, uh, you will have a lot of thing common in business analytics and finance. So, you know, finance, you do a lot of business analytics, analytics stuff. Not exactly, exactly finance is business analytics, but that's, uh, if I have to closely uh, relate business analytics with any other core uh, MBA specialization, maybe it would be finance and, no, and not anything else. Mm -hmm. And when you do an MBA, uh, you know, you will do international finance as well. That's what IFD is known for, international finance, international marketing. BBA versus BSc finance at NMIMS. Uh, Rishi, I, I answered this question earlier as well. So it will completely depend upon your choice, whether you, what you want to do. If you're certain that finance is your calling and you want to make your career in finance, then it has to be BSc finance. But if there is even 1% slightest of the doubt that I'm not sure whether it is finance or something else, I'm not too sure. I've not explored it. Then keep your options open and apply to a BBA program because uh, what will happen? You will have, you will learn various subjects apart from finance. You will learn some, uh, operations, systems, marketing, supply chain. And then maybe, you know, you can decide what you want to do in second and third year. So you can evaluate in the first year, first year and a bit of second year. And then you can select your electives and select your specialization. Then we have Pramath asking, sir, can you please explain what is micro presentation in Christ? So basically, uh, they give you a random topic and they ask you to speak on the topic. Okay. The topic could be any random topic or it could be, let's say you say that your hobby is playing cricket. Okay. Uh, and let's say you say that your favorite player is Mahindra Singh Dhoni. So they can ask you to speak about Mahindra Singh Dhoni in for two minutes. Okay. Or you say that, you know, this was your project that you handled. They can, uh, they can tell you, okay, elaborate your project for five minutes. So, you know, it could be anything, you know. So last year, there was a student who was asked to speak about performance of NDA government in last nine years. So it depends, you know, and that that micro presentation topic was not at all related to his profile. Okay. Nor did he speak about government or government policy or NDA in his interview. He was randomly asked that question. So that's how the micro presentation in Christ works. Is Symbiosis BBA residential program? Yes, Rishi, it is a compulsory residential program. Best score in CUET, REN, again, uh, you know, it will depend for which college and for which 
program in that college because for every college the cutoff is different for every college for a particular college there is different cutoff for various programs also so you know it's very difficult to script uh, predict what is for cuet if if by cuet by any chance if you mean that it's a christ university interest test then in that case uh, you know anything in the range of 70 5 plus 75 80 should be a good score for christ university entrance test uh what rank would be safe to assume that we have scored a seat in nmims mumbai anything 1600 plus should be a good good rank can cfa be done with bsc finance absolutely rishi you can do that one of my student did complete bsc finance this year and he also cleared cfa level 1 along with bsc finance so yes you can uh which is harder crisis entrance or a crisis interview so i would say crisis interview because no one gets rejected in the crisis entrance test everyone who right entrance is shortlisted for interview okay and the cumulative of your interview micro presentation and your written test aptitude test on the basis of all the three you are been finally shortlisted for various campus can we ask for change of topic in micro presentation if not clear uh yes you can try your luck you can try your luck but then i'm not sure whether they would change it or not so see if you don't know anything then it is better to tell that you know i'm not aware about this topic can you please give me something else and 9 out of 10 times they would change the topic okay so you can try so i don't have any questions that are un, uh, you know unanswered if there is anyone who is you know who still wants to clear any doubts then please do let me know we i'll wait for uh, maybe 30 or seconds before i end this uh, session so uh, you're welcome you're welcome apurva you're welcome lalita i i again repeat that you know if you like this initiative if you like this session then please subscribe to the channel and do like do press on the like button the moment to subscribe every time when we do this ama session you will get a notification and you know that will help you to clear your doubts which would be best private or government if we want to pursue ca side by side avani uh, i would always suggest that whatever you want to do side by the ca or a cfa okay uh, the reputation the brand of the college will always help because there is no guarantee whether you will clear cfa or not cfa or a ca whether you will clear that but if you are certain that ca to life mein karna hi hai ca nahi hua to kuch nahi hai then you select a college which is not emphasizing on lot of attendance and lot of time that's being spent on in college okay but otherwise always go with a better brand and you know irrespective whether it is a government college or a private college always go with a better brand uh someone say that ask that what is a good score for 12th board to get and i am in door so you don't need a good 12th score you need a good ipm in door score okay now considering that uh, you will clear the cut off not only clear the cut off but you will also score very high marks in iim indore uh, considering that anything which is more than 80 85 in 12th should be decent enough to impress the panelist okay more the merrier if you score 90 or 92 or 95 wow okay more the merrier but anything less than 80 would not uh, have you know will not give a good impression but again at the same time last year i had a student who scored only 78 but his ipm indoor score was extremely high okay uh, his total was somewhere around 220 222 something and his scored only 78 in 12th mark 12th grade and he converted i am indoor so we have student with a lesser marks not scoring very high in ipm indoor also converting i am indoor what are the cut off of ipm indoor last year so last year kirti for uh, QA short of the section the cut off was twelve. 
for mcq the cut off was 39 and for verbal ability the cut off was 125 marks so there was sectional cut off and not the oral cut off how many marks should one get to get into the safe zone so uh, if you add 39 and 12 that adds up to 51 okay and you add that with 125 you get 176 So, if a student would get one seventy six overall with just clearing a sectional cut off, his chances would be as, you know, I would like to say that it will be as equal to zero. Okay. Uh, so scoring, you know, if the addition of three sectional cut off is one seventy six, and if you are scoring two ten, two twenty, two thirty, you are in the safe zone. So last year, I had a student who had scored two hundred and twelve and could not make it to the IPM at Indore. So, you know, it also depends on interview. And a student with two zero eight with a I got a very good interview and she converted I am in Indore eventually two two hundred and twelve marks student was not able to clear a student with two zero eight marks was able to clear it. How is Jain University? Ah, uh, so Lalita again not bad, but then you have lot of good other universities across India. Okay, so Jain probably will not even come in top fifteen in India Jain University. Xavier and Mitibai College coming in Maharashtra CET. Mitibai College for BMS program is definitely coming in. Xavier's College said Xavier along with Jain mentioned that they will accept the interest test, but not very clear whether it is their own interest test that they used to be conducting over the last so many years, or they will come under Maharashtra CET. Uh, So in that case, board wise, DU would be better. Yes, absolutely. Brand wise, DU is any day better. The top colleges of DU are far better than any other colleges in India. I mean, obviously we have IIM Indore and NMIMS. Okay, ah, uh, the top colleges of DU will be any day better than NMIMS, but not better than IIM Indore as such. Yeah, so I have answered every question which was there in the chat window. We have last two three minutes. If there is someone who have a query, I will help out. Will twelfth mark be considered in Christ? Eleventh mark be considered in Christ? No, not really. For CUET general category, what would be the minimum score to get into a fairly good college in DU? So Vani, as I earlier also mentioned that there are a lot of college in DU. So which college and for which program? For every college, every program the cutoff is different. So you need to be little specific, Vani. Some entertainment uh, other than Christ, which are other colleges for BBA? So you have NMIMS, you have Christ, you have uh, so you have NMIMS, you have Symbiosis, you have SRCC, you have Nirma. Uh, you have Tapmi, you have Kriya, you have Opi Jindal, you have Flame University. There are lots of university and colleges apart from Christ. For Vcom honors, uh, you know which college, Vani? If you be more clear about it, which college Vcom honors? What is your take on MIT WPU? So. Not bad, Priya. Not bad, but if you have other options, obviously I'll I'll go for symbols. I'll go for NMIM. I'll go for Christ for that matter. I'll go for a flame over MIT WPU. I am a second year dropped dropper. Will it make a negative impact in the interview? They was absolutely not. See if they call you for an interview, they know your profile. Otherwise, you know they want you. Okay. So again, last year I had a student who was a dropper, and I mean. Who was in first year of BCom of VBA? Okay, he wrote IBM at Indore again and converted IIM Indore, and he left that college. I will not name that college which college it was, but yes, I had a student last year. This year, in fact, I have some four odd students who are in the first year of VBA and are going to write IBM at Indore again.
okay so i think i will take uh, your leave and uh, let's end this session here okay uh, we will keep on doing this ask me anything session again and again again and again because i mean till the all exams are over we'll keep on doing it to help the student fraternity to clear all the doubts and you know get engaged with uh, ims mentor thank you everyone bye bye good night see ya see you soon